Hey team, we're back to talk about cellular respiration today. In the last lecture, we talked about energy and we went through this whole discussion about how weird energy is and like focused in on energy in living systems. Today, we get to focus on how cells get energy out of food molecules. And in this case, we're gonna focus in on glucose or carbohydrates. Um, this entire lecture is going to be discussing the process of cellular respiration. I hope this diagram that I have up here, this lovely diagram is familiar because it's the one that we drew at the end of the last lecture. And I threw it in here because I just wanted to make sure everybody was super clean and clear with our task on this day. And that's that we're focusing in on just the one piece of the energy in living systems. We're just focusing in on the cellular respiration piece. In the next lecture, I'm going to do a little preview for you. In the next lecture, we're going to talk about the photosynthesis piece, which tells us where our glucose comes from. I think that cellular respiration is a little more intuitive. I don't know if it's because it's happening in us and so we can imagine it easier, or if it's the molecules are a little more familiar. But the good news is once you go through cellular respiration and you, you kind of get your head around the processes and you get your head around the things you need to know and the things that you don't need to know, then tackling photosynthesis, which is basically just the opposite, becomes a little easier, I think. So buckle down. This lecture is super important, but it's also really dense. So take your time. We're going to have lots of opportunities to review stuff. And we're going to start with a big picture overview of everything we're going to talk about in this lecture.